Merry Christmas! It's time for another unboxing. In this video, we're going to be unboxing Barbie Winter Playsets. We're going to be taking a look at the Barbie Pink Passport Playset and the more recent holiday release featuring Barbie and her sisters. When doing a side-by-side -side comparison, I think the biggest thing I notice is that Skipper is missing from this playset. She seems to have been replaced by this snowman. The pink passport playset includes all four sisters, Skipper, Barbie, Stacy, and Chelsea, as well as some accessories. Looks like some kind of sled and a snowboard for Skipper. Everybody's decked out in winter appropriate attire. And the backdrop looks like they are at a ski chalet somewhere. Maybe Colorado? The back of the box features other Barbie pink passport play sets. I really love this scooter. Now this other play set I call holiday themed because of the details on the packaging. We've got a red bow here and the side of the box just kind of reminds me of wrapping paper. This set, as I pointed out, does not include Skipper, but we do have Barbie, Stacy, and Chelsea, a little snowman, and this snowmobile, which is pretty cool. The back of the box continues to feature that background of wrapping paper print, which includes an illustrated image of Barbie hanging out with her sisters in another winter ski chalet scene. Um, and it also includes this little maze. I think it's time to get these ladies out of the box. Now that everything's unboxed, let's take a look at the pink passport set first. First off, both Barbie and Chelsea are dressed for ice skating. Chelsea is looking pretty cute with her pink hat, which is molded from plastic. It's currently uh, banded to her head. Her hair is down, got a little bit of box hair going on, but not too bad. She's got her cute little face and a really adorable little winter skating outfit. It's this dress with a faux fur collar and Velcros in the back. Her legs are painted purple to look like tights and she's wearing cute little silver ice skates. Meanwhile, Barbie is wearing a, like a teal legging with this kind of wintry tunic top and this scarf, which I'm not in love with the scarf. It feels like that material they use to make Barbie towels out of. It's not very convincing as a scarf, honestly. I wish they had used something more like what they used with Stacy, which I'll show you in a second. And these are her ice skates. Um, I do like the detail in the molded plastic of the ice skates. I do not like that they are high heeled. I really wish they had used a flat footed Barbie body. Her hair has a little bit of product in it, but I think it could be easily washed out. Not too bad coming out of the box. And all four of these dolls have the basic five points of articulation with movement at the neck, shoulder, and hip. Now here's Stacy, and I wanted to point out first, I really like her scarf better than Barbie's. I love, I like the texture. It looks more like a knitted scarf than the material they used for Barbie's. Stacy seems to be dressed in layers, uh, but it is actually one piece top. It's supposed to look like she has like a jean shirt over maybe a thermal shirt. She's wearing these patterned pink leggings and some blue snow boots. And she actually has more articulation than Barbie in terms of range of motion in her hips. Her hair is probably the best coming out of the packaging. It's really soft, has a lot of body, and not too bad at all. Her accessory is this, what looks like a sled. You can place her in it to sled down the mountain. And then finally, this set includes Skipper, who has actually the most range of motion in her hips. She has her blue streaks in her hair. Her hair has a lot of product in it. It really needs to be washed, but I really like her face as usual. 
she's wearing what looks like it's supposed to be a long sleeve top layered under a puffy vest, but it is actually one piece that Velcro's in the back. And then she is wearing these red plaid leggings and then these black winter boots. She also has a red helmet because her accessory is a snowboard. You pop her feet into the snowboard and it almost acts like a doll stand once you get her placed. We just need to put on her helmet. Now here's Skipper ready to snowboard down the hill. Whee! Now let's take a look at the other winter playset. First off, again, we have Chelsea. This time Chelsea is dressed in kind of like a snowsuit. If you can tell, it's got little penguin print all over it. It is actually two pieces. The top Velcro's in the back and the pants have an elastic waistband. So she is actually wearing a full set of clothes. No molded on plastic clothing for this little doll. She's got on some silver snow boots and she is holding what looks like Maybe a hot cocoa with a ton of whipped cream. Her hair is in pigtails, and she completes her outfit with this little pink hat made of plastic. Then we have Stacy, who is also wearing a molded plastic hat, which is currently tagged to her head. She's got a little bit of box hair issue going on, but she is wearing a very cute outfit. It looks like kind of a sweater with a print pattern scarf. It's only on one side. And these really cute leggings and some pink snow boots. Both Stacy and Chelsea have the basic five points of articulation at the shoulder, hip, and neck. But Barbie was a little bit of a surprise because she has made to move arms. She has movement at the shoulder, the upper arm, she has the made to move elbow, and articulation at the wrist. Of course, she has movement at the neck, but her only other articulation is at the hip. She has no articulation at the knees or the ankles or the upper torso. So she only has made to move arms. I really like her outfit. She's got this tunic kind of sweatery top with this faux fur trimmed hood, some gray leggings, and these purple snow boots. This playset comes with a snowmobile, and I believe that's why Barbie has this articulation. Her legs go in straight as she sits, but then she can use that extra arm articulation to help grasp the handles on the snowmobile. And of course, safety first, Barbie comes with a helmet. Gotta have a helmet when snowmobiling. The final accessory in this playset is this cute little snowman. Love his little hat. I really like both of these playsets, but I have to say, I actually like these outfits better than those. Especially little Chelsea's because her clothing is made entirely of fabric. But what do you guys think? Comment below.